Hey guys, this is Greg coming to you with another Funrise video. Today we're going to be going over a new acquisition that Funrise made and added into the Interval Fund portfolio. Uh, I just got an email about this. I did not see it pop up in my news feed yet in Funrise, so I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here as we go. It uh, looks like it's in Charleston, South Carolina, so we're moving up north a little bit from Florida and Texas. Before we get started though, please make sure if you enjoy this to hit that like button. That thumbs up goes a long way in helping me um, get these videos out there. And if you like it by the end, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell that comes up so that next time I come up with another video, it comes right up in your feed and uh, we're good to go. All right, so without further ado, we're just gonna deep dive in here in this new acquisition. Again, stabilized apartments near Charleston, South Carolina. It's called Highland Exchange. It's a 276 unit apartment community in North Charleston, South Carolina. And they purchased it for about $54.6 million. Since the pictures are at the top here, we'll just do a little bit of a, you know, overarching view here. The apartment complex looks pretty nice. The pool looks nice as well. And it has that nice little, um, oh, I forget what it's called. It's like a, you can just tan there in the water. I've been seeing this in a couple pools and properties that we've been looking at. I'm sure it'll say it in the amenities somewhere. Inside one of the apartments here, nice modern look. Ooh, nice interesting design. Is that cow? I think that might be cow up there. That blue, man, they're really going. I think this is a lot of the um, the inside of like the guest center or the you know the main building for the apartment complex. A lot of different colors here, a lot of different styles, all in one one space there. I'm not sure. I don't think this is, yeah, that looks like a, a meeting room, like a, an office area. So at strategic level, investment fits within their Sunbelt apartment rental and housing thesis, which if you've seen my videos before, we go into a little bit more detail here, but the Sunbelt is just the southern area of the country. Um, their main focus here is just that a lot of people are migrating from the north to the south, the climate's better. Um, it's a little bit better pricing on housing, things like that. So they're seeing demand for well-priced, like I said, well-located real estate and uh, support steady returns for, for disciplined investors like us that are getting into Fundrise, looking for that long uh, window, that 5, 10, 20, 25 year window of returns. So they believe that you know, with the pandemic and everything that's happened, of course, that a lot of people are looking for more remote work. They can live wherever. They can just you know telework. It, it's it's a great idea. Um, people just living in less expensive areas, not the big cities, things like that. So they made this acquisition with a joint venture between two Fundrise sponsored funds. Which, if you've been watching my videos again. A lot of this, a lot of these properties have just been two funds, just kind of in a growth or value or whatever that it, it fits in. You'll see it in an interval fund and a small section of it in another fund. So we'll see that the interval fund invested roughly $23.1 million and the balanced E rate two uh, invested roughly $2.6 million. Senior loan in the amount of roughly $31.4 million was also provided. The investment amount includes a budget for financing and other soft costs included there. So this is part of the core plus strategy. As you can see here, the risk return is pretty low. Um, moderate, they say moderate because it's in the middle there. Uh, shortly after acquisition, you'll start seeing um, returns. So you, you, there won't be a huge delay because a lot of the, it's an apartment building, so a lot of these places are leased out already. They're gonna be seeing income come in on a monthly basis. So it does see uh, the source of returns is income from, from some growth, just like I said there. So the business plan, it was built in 2020. Community has been leasing up consistently over the past year and a half. Um, at the time of this writing, which is today, units uh, have achieved approximately 94% occupancy with over 96% of the units leased. Um, in the months leading up to our acquisition, the vast majority of economic vacancies in units that had secured tenants were due to concessions uh, or lease up incentives uh, common among brand new apartment communities. We expect to work with a professional property management firm over the coming months to finish leasing up the remaining units and reduce concessions to maximize rental income at the property. Uh, since this is new construction, they don't anticipate any kind of significant capital being used for improvements for the foreseeable future. Everything's new, so you, 
it should be you know five years to, down the road before they start spending some some real money on this if they need to our intent with this and other similar investments including both single family rental home communities and some apartment communities is to be a long-term investor building a scaled portfolio that generates consistent rental income uh, so while at the same time positioning ourselves to capture uh, what they believe will be outsized uh, price appreciation thanks to a confluence of demographic factors uh, driving demand across the, the whole Sun Belt. So they invested in this location because uh, a great location. In 2017, Charleston surpassed Columbia as the most populous city in South Carolina, uh, while North Charleston, Charleston's northern neighbor, uh, where Highland Exchange is located, was found by the uh, U.S. Census to be the state's third largest city. So our, overall, the Charleston MSA contains five of South Carolina's 10 largest towns and cities, uh, some of which grew as more of 33% in the past decade. That's pretty big. Um, delivered in late 2020, Highland Exchange is a brand new construction with high quality amenities and detailed throughout. Um, presenting no need for renovations or updates in the near future. And the property is currently about 94% occupied and an additional 2.5% of the units have signed leases in place. So they're already, they're already chugging along here and starting to get it going. So it is a stabilized apartment, Core Plus, put $25.6 million into it. And that's that. So that's, that's Charleston. That is the Highland Exchange. And I did also find in here um, their website which it looks just like the other apartment complex websites that um, Funrise has had so they might have already started changing this over with this acquisition so this is Highland Exchange Apartments I don't know if they're gonna change the name now if they bought it but as you can see these are pretty much you know that's the picture we saw on the website a little different angle here with a little bar area nice chairs like a lot of light coming into it here's the pool area at night so you can see it from a different angle going towards the uh, the lodge there and the inside of, the, of one of those rooms probably the same room that we saw another picture in so that's that's that we can see the photo gallery in a little bit but we'll just there this website to me is just really busy I don't know about you, maybe this is just a thing down in South Carolina, I'm not sure, but this just looks really busy for me. So this is the first page, their main page on their website, we'll just scroll all the way up. We'll go to their amenities, and I'm sure a lot of these are going to be the same that we see in a lot of different ones. So community amenities, fitness center, the clubhouse, on-site maintenance, always a plus. There's a bark park, which is a dog park, outdoor barbecue grill. Swimming pool, business center, which we saw in with a, the cow print, uh, the TV lounge, and a cyber cafe. Apartment amenities here, it looks like a wood style flooring, ceiling fans, tile backsplash, balcony or patio, granite countertops, and walk-in closets. It looks like they do have a pet policy, which is the first one I've really seen posted here. So they have max two pets, a one-time fee of $400. Um, looks like cats are allowed with $15 extra a month for a cat and $15 extra for a dog as well. Looks like they have restrictions on breeds. Um, we won't go over that here. So we'll go to the floor plans. And it looks like they have kind of the same setup as all the other sites. So like I said, it, it looks like we're, we're starting to see that slow takeover here from Fundrise on the site. They have that A1, A4. So the A's are the one bedroom, one bath. We've seen that before. Um, we have some B styles, which are two bed, two bath, and some C styles, which are three bed, two bath in here. Looks like we don't have a floor plan for everything yet, but the images are coming back soon. So maybe if I come back and look at this, I might do an updated video here. But just to give you an idea, no pricing on here. There are some things available, but it doesn't look like they want to list their prices yet. But if you look in here, this is the one bed, one bath, 7-Eleven uh, square feet. Pretty simplistic, uh, just a, a nice square with a balcony on the back. Nothing too fancy here, but at least you have a bathroom entrance for guests and uh, also for, for the bathroom with a nice kitchen, L-shaped kitchen uh, counter with an island, and additional seating for eating. You might not even have to use that if, if it's just you and somebody else. Uh, we go up to the A4. 
a little bigger, a little deeper, I guess you could say. Same, pretty much same setup, it just gives you a little bit more room and it's a U-shaped with that island turning over to make a U-shaped kitchen counter. Let me just double check here. And you get a little bit of additional of a sink area, a double sink in the bathroom a little bit bigger of a closet so just it's spread out a little bit more so then we go to the a3 this is kind of cool it looks like maybe it's more like like a corner or like um if the the apartment's turning a little bit so you kind of get a little bit extra room which is kind of neat you come in here the washer dryer stacked inside the kitchen a uh, little bit different of a design still have that balcony and um looks like the bathroom is more closed off so only the people that are living there unless you know you have your company over they have to go through your bedroom to to get into the bathroom with the walk-in closet in the bathroom nothing for the a1s or the a4s so we got the b level now we got two bed two bath looks like it's just pretty much straight in um, bedroom on both sides each side gets their own bathroom looks like if you need to go to the bathroom you're gonna be going in here to the other bedroom not a big deal but again that's 953 square feet again there's no pricing on any of these the B2 it looks like this is a little bit another one of those like cornerish type things um, in between the the apartments I'm guessing or, or an end cat well I'm not exactly sure I have to I'd have to look at the building but um, looks like you share a bathroom you get your own little closet looks like oh there's a nice little door here that you can go into the bathroom without having to go into a bedroom so that's kind of nice no floor plan there so the B3 again it's just a little bit bigger a little over a thousand square feet everything split up on the half seas there and yeah so keep going keep going keep going and here we are on the b5 it's a little bit different of a layout everything's on the one side the bed the bedrooms are on the side do have some guest access for a bathroom there you got door in door in so not bad there and the c1 now we're in the three bedrooms so we have a, a master over here with the master bath nice little shower and closet inside the bathroom area these guys share a bathroom guys come in here the dining rooms right there so you have to go around to the kitchen that's nice to look concealed I'd actually kind of prefer that and the a1 we're back to a1 okay so photo gallery let's see what this place looks like nice little lodge in the front there nicely lit Ah, here we go. This is where those those bends are. So they're right at the corner and they kind of just make the L. So now we know what that is and why they're shaped that way. A little aerial shot. Oh, and this is probably the ones with the S. They have a uh, garage available for them. We just don't see that yet for the pictures. There's the Highland Exchange sign come in inside the lodge again there's that bar that uh, juice bar coffee bar whatever you want to call it nice lights again it's really like light induced like a lot of light comes in that room I really like that really is a welcoming space for this whole thing like all the big windows here's the office space area again lighting in here you can just kind of come in do some work Oh, package concierge. So this is pretty cool. So like you get an Amazon package and they can just put it right in there for you and then you can come down and pick it up. So it's not just sitting at your doorstep. Somebody can just take it. It's in here. You just put your code in and you get your package. It's a really nice thing. I've seen people actually do this with their house now. They put like, they have this kind of um, box system outside and the Amazon guy drops it in and it just goes right inside the house for them. It's really neat. Nice pool deck here. Seats on all sides of the pool. And there's that little area to sit in and, and rest in the water. There it is at night. Looks like water comes up on your butt there. <laughs> there's the gym. Lots of fans, lots of light, lots of cool, uh, you know, workout area devices and everything like that. You got your bike area. 
Oh, it looks like you got a charging station for uh, your EVs if you drive one. Which if you do, thumbs up if you do. And it looks like inside of the apartments a little bit. There's the kitchen. Nice little area rug on there, which I'm not sure that really comes with it. A little storage up top above the fridge. What do you guys think of the colors in the apartments here? The, the paint, the appliances, the, the countertop, and the, the cabinet colors. It's like an ash. Very neutral colors, though, for the walls. And that looks like that's about it. Let's see. Let's see if the virtual tours work this time. Let's see if we can. Ooh, it, it's working. It's working. Here we go. So here we come in. We can look inside the kitchen area here. We can actually walk in. Wow, I'm actually impressed. This is working. This is great. You can kind of see what everything looks like. And, and I apologize on my driving skills here. A little dining area. Go in and check out the bedroom. Oh, there we are. No. Not sure if we can get in. There we go. Into the bathroom. Bathroom doesn't look bad. We'll go in here, look at the shower, the tub shower. I think that might be it. Let's see if we can get back out here. Is there another side to this? There is. So there's a bedroom and there's another bathroom. Let's go in the bedroom here really quick. Just scope it out. Not bad. Into the bathroom. There's another tub shower, toilet, and a sink. So not bad. Let's see if this one's any different. It looks like a little different here. So it brings us in, there's an island. Oh, this one's empty, so it's a little bit more space to look through. There's the bathroom. I wonder if that's, this is gonna be shared between these two, whoa. Bedroom in there and a bedroom back here. Small, that looks small from that perspective. Interesting double door. That must be a closet and that's the entrance. So you come in, you can drop your stuff. I put a nice little thing there or hooks up here if they allow that in the apartment agreement. And then over here, nice fan. Personal bathroom, so this would be like the master suite I'm imagining. Yeah, there we go, nice little shower with the sliding doors. That's a nice touch. All right, let's just check out this last one. All right, this one just coming right into the living room. So there's the front door you come in. Looks like a wine, look at that, a wine rack right above the fridge as you come in. Pretty simple. Coming into the living room. Single bedroom, there's the breaker box, and into the bathroom, double sink with the shower, and oh, that's the entrance uh, into the bathroom from the outside, okay, awesome, and a little closet there. All right, so that's it, that's the tour. Um, so what do you think of, oh, hello, Apparently that link does not work. <laughs> so we'll go back to the floor plans here. So what do you guys think of uh, the Highland Exchange? Do you think this is gonna be a place that you could live? Um, I'm actually interested in anybody that tried to get an apartment here uh, or lives there. What do you guys think of it? What do you think of the amenities? Do you like the floor plan that you live in? And how does it compare to uh, other apartment complexes in the Charlotte area? Uh, North Charleston area, I'm sorry. Uh, let us know down below. Again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Um, and please make sure to subscribe. We'll, take, we'll see you next time. Take care.